people coming back from Singapore saying that they were walking down the famous Orchard Road. And guess where we are? This and is we are so here. weird. And apparently it's a really long walkway all the way down there. Someone asked me for Pasalubong specifically from here. <laughs> it has to be special. How dare they? <laughs> Just kidding. What? I'd buy you something from here. I Thanks! Huh? Logos that are familiar and you can see just like different kinds of shops. Yeah, and they're all beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you can look, there are ice cream stalls actually on the side. Oh, so yeah. since this is a, a long walkway, yeah. you can just like stop and get some ice cream. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good, uh, no, it's a good, what do you call this? Like when you're walking around and you're shopping, because Orchard Road is, is known for its shopping, right? You could just like literally stop by and like, you know what? I want to relax. I want to eat something sweet. Yeah. And then you have more energy to shop and, way more. And dream about all these wonderful and beautiful things. Oh, wow. Maybe someday we can buy them. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. You know what? These, these items that are in the shops everywhere here, they're super nice. Um, so I'm, I'm, it's one of those things where you put it in your bucket list, so you do your best to kind of like work hard so you can earn these rewards. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to being able to buy something from here one day. And you will. We're here in such a beautiful spot. It's called Jamal Kazura Aromatics. And I'm so excited for today because we get to create oh. our own perfumes. And it's great because we get to put them in those really nice little really bottles. bottles. Yeah, and it's great. I realized just now that it's um, pasalubong as a surprise. And this is like, what do you call that? Bespoke perfume that you made yourself. Yeah. That's a nice gift. I had a gift for my birthday once from my son. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then now you can do the same thing for him. That's right. Like a belated birthday. Mm -mm. Yes. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. We're inside the Jamal Kazura Aromatic Shop and we have Samir here Hi. with us. Hi Samir, Hello, so nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Thank you for you having us. Nice to meet you. So Samir is going to show us how we can actually mix and create like your own custom perfume. So I can't wait to smell the aroma oils that, yeah. the oils that you have. Oh yeah, the essential oils. Essential oils. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, what we call Mubira. This is like one of our more oriental kind of uh, Fragrances. It's oh wow! I like and, uh, this. Yeah. I like the sweet. That's uh, that's what I realized because mom earlier asked me mm -hmm. like what kind of uh, scent I'm looking for. So also, we have a sister uh, company on Arab Street, mm -hmm. uh, which is called Safer Aromatics, run by my brother. So oh. that is more catered towards uh, customization. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. So we do that's it here, so cool. but we, it depends. Uh, but it's more over there. That's more over there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Exactly. okay. Where they buy the ready-made ones. They have pre-mixed. Oh we, well, I mean, it's our own formulations here, mm -mm. Um, but we, we don't really do the one-to-one -one consultation. Right. So we have our, uh, whatever you s see on our shelf. It's our formulation. Mm. I, I was telling Inca, I feel like a princess, you know, <laughs> yeah. like that bottle, and I'm like, mm. yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. And then you can put your love potions there too. Yeah, yeah you can. <laughs> you can <put> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so come over here, especially if you're like a perfume kind of person. Like I'm so new to the, I never really used to wear perfumes and I'm only now discovering the joy of, of that. That's so true. Yeah, so this has been such an eye-opening experience for me. I didn't know that, that that's what, of course we the didn't process. know, right? Yeah, yeah but like it's, it's really, it was so interesting to learn about it. Thank you, thank you yeah. so thank much, you much for showing this. Of course, shopping can be an adventure too if you're looking for a place where you can find some of Singapore's local designer and their creative pieces. This is really like an effort of the government to kind of give them a space to really succeed. Because this one, um, they, really, they really encourage the tourists to come here and to buy. Yeah. Okay. So Eliza's here with us. Um, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. 
can we take a look around? Because yeah, sure. it's so nice. So this is actually uh, just the first floor of this entire building. This oh. is Design Orchard. Uh -huh. And where we're in right now, it's the retail space. I see, so I see. So this building is actually a project that was spearheaded by um, three government agencies. There you ESG, go. Um, JTC, and STB. Ah, yeah, right. okay, yeah, okay. So we were appointed like Singapore Fashion Council, uh, where I'm from, was appointed to run this whole space including this floor wow yeah so this retail space is really special because we house over a hundred local brands amazing yes. so i was just gonna like, ask you how many yeah, yeah. over a hundred and that's what makes it really special especially since we are, we are in the heart of orchard it's your first time in singapore right yeah. yes so this is the shopping district where not just the locals but international tourists yes. also come to so it's a really good way to showcase um the local uh, designers and their products and the brands yeah you know so yeah. that they are visible to uh, our international pets yeah. yeah amazing so do you feel like all of the selections here like it really captures the singapore like design and an artist sure. cult yeah cult culture and like one little yeah definitely i think one of yeah. the brands we can look at is yeah. binary style so um binary they are two style. sisters who really took a lot of inspiration <gasps> from singaporean icons and like Those are um, architecture so um, oh like the shop houses right yes yeah, so yeah. see there you go yeah yeah these are the shop houses. oh i love that there. That's one of my favorite things. It's okay. That's one yeah. of my favorite things when I saw when when we were going around Singapore. Mm -hmm. So I, I noticed that I'm attracted to things like that. Little intricate designs catch my eye very often. Mm -hmm. yes. Design Orchard is so nice. I am so mesmerized. Yeah, me too. Me too. Like when you come in automatically, there's a scent that hits you nicely right in the face, and right? And especially made for... For this place! For this and what's really nice about it is it's really a place where the local artists and designers can thrive and really shine. My favorite part here, I think, the, the stuff that I like the most were the jewelry and the bags. Yeah, me, I like the, the scarves and the cardigans. The scardigan. The scardigan. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I am coming back for one. In Singapore, this is a wonderful place to check out, especially if you want to get a taste of every little little bit of culture yes. through the designers and the creatives of Singapore okay. or a design orchard there you go yes this is going to be the perfect place to look for pasalubong because Yeni draws and friends has so many little bits and pieces that we want to check out too mm -hmm. and you know, I want to look for pasalubong here, but uh, the, the, you know, I'm, my problem is going to be I might want to keep them all. So let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's That's go. A <laughs> this store has a lot of different little items that you can buy, but Yeni Draws is actually an artist. That's why it's called Yeni Draws. I think we found her. <laughs> of course, <laughs> she's the only one here. Hi, Yeni. Inka! Welcome! So Inca. nice to meet you. Nice Thank you. you. Thanks for having me. I'm Lindy. Nice to meet you, Lindy. Pleasure. Thanks. Thanks. So, tell us all about um, your wonderful little story. Okay. Um, as you can see on the wall, on the products right here, these are all my illustrations. Mm. Uh, it comes, the inspiration comes from my family, a lot from my family, my childhood, uh, my uh, travel experiences. I have a special love for history and mm. architecture. These are the houses that we've seen on the Vespa on tour, the Vespa actually. Tour. So, you know, before coming here to Singapore, I've heard so many things about uh, this place. And mostly, it was always like, you know, this place is very minimalist. It's yeah. very clean yeah. cut and all yeah. that stuff. And it is. Thank you. But I also didn't realize a deeper part of it that showcased so much of the culture. And where do you feel like you fit in to that? We are also quite fun. There are a group of us who appreciate art, history, and we do have that creative juju that we want to share with you. <laughs> yes. So this is why, you know, well, I hope I fit in that, that, that oh, Definitely, of, you know? <laughs> definitely. This was a really nice, because when you drive through the roads, it's so beautiful and well-planned. And then when you come into your store, it's such a, it's a taste of like a pops of color and 
really less of the angles and more of like the softness oh, and and you. all the these details. Yes, yes, yes. The flow <laughs> is so beautiful. I want yeah. to take parts of I want to take your store and bring it home with me. You know what I mean? Yeah, thank you so much for for showing us around. Um Let's go around. Yeah, yeah. I want to see I want to see more of your store. Yes. Wow. Those are nice, mom. Yeah. I love it. Uh, I love it. It took all of our willpower to not buy anything, uh, well, more than this, <laughs> because we still have so much to explore. But of course, we want to thank Yeni of you. Yeni Draws thank you so much for visiting. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you had a great time here. Yes, you definitely. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you yeah, we can't wait to come back. Yeah. Let's go to the next place. always happy hour somewhere but for us it starts now <laughs> we're here at Tanglin Jin um, distillery and they make their own gin that's I so mean, cool it's a concoction of different kinds and uh, I just can't wait to try them at noon <laughs> <laughs> let's go let's go <laughs> <laughs> We're here at Tanglin Gin Distillery where we're going to check out exactly how they make the gin. And we have our handsome tour guide Bradley here to show us the ropes and see what we can learn from, from today. Perfect. <laughs> so welcome to Singapore's first gin distillery. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, mother. <laughs> so we're mixing ethanol, which is our base alcohol. We're putting juniper inside of this thing. And then we're adding all the other flavors and ingredients that we want in there, like mm -hmm. peppers, Mm. herbs and spices, mm. fruits, all that sort of fun stuff. Close it up, turn it on, and this heats up. And then as the alcohol starts to heat up, it turns to a vapor, and then up comes our flavored vapor through the still. The drinks have been poured. They're laid out for us to try. So how do we begin? Like anything, you need to learn how to taste a product, right? And this is great for people at home as well. This tip will work for whiskeys, rums, tequilas, mm -hmm. all that sort of neat spirits that you're going to try. Okay. This will be a very similar technique and it will help you actually taste the product instead of, I'm sure you guys have felt the burning effect <laughs> of alcohol before, right? Yeah. 2 a.m. at a bar. For the boys. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it should help avoid that a little bit and you actually understand the flavor profile better. Mm -hmm. So everything always starts with the nose. So you start by nosing the glass. You want to see what's happening. Your brain starts understanding that it's about to taste something. It's understanding the aromas of the product. So you always start with the nose. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to taste, the difference to doing wine tasting and things like that is that you want to limit the amount of air that passes through your mouth because right. the air flowing over the alcohol is what causes the evaporation sort of to happen and that's where the burning comes from. Oh, okay. okay. You've got the orchid gin on your left there and that's the first one we're going to try. And how do you hold the glass? I mean, Any way you okay. want, it's fine, okay. it's fine. So... Okay. Mm. Wow, you're right. It doesn't burn as much. Uh, as much. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah. Still get some. <laughs> right. So the next one we're going to try. The second on your left is the Singapore gin. Now this is what we spoke about next door. It's got more Southeast Asian flavor profile to it. Mm -hmm. So on this one, you should get a little bit of kaffir lime on the nose, mm. and then as you as you taste it in your mouth, it'll be citrus forward. So you're going to salivate a little bit more. Um, oh, I can smell it. Right? Yeah. And then as you taste, then you'll get a bit of the ginger, a bit of that compote pepper. And then when you swallow, you get the nice warmth from the uh, dried chili seed. Mm. Definitely different. Mm. You can, it's so distinct. Yeah. Uh, this <laughs> next product is our Navy Strength Gin Black Powder. Um, <gasps> recently awarded a lot of really high, high awards in all the big competitions for us in the, in the circuit. Um, so this is the black powder. It's a Navy Strength Gin. Now, do you guys know the story of where Navy Strength comes from? No. Okay, so Navy Strength Gin. Gin is, uh, it was originated in the UK. Now, okay. the British Navy would send out their fleet with ration of gin because the sailors used to get paid 
in gin. That was a currency that they would be paid in. What? Right? I didn't so know that. to store the gin, they would store it above the gunpowder at a really high alcohol percentage. Ooh. So then if it was to spill into the gunpowder, it wouldn't ruin it. It can still light, it still works. Oh, still that's fun. awesome. So the sailors, knowing this, when they got yeah. their ration of gin as payment, they would mix some with some gunpowder. And if it was to still be able to light, it's over 57.4% alcohol. It's Whoa. Navy strength. Well, that's so cool. Yeah. What a great way to figure Even the that packaging out. packaging is special. Look, it's different from mm -mm. Uh, silver. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Much stronger. Yeah, yeah. Navy strength. Up my nose here. Oh, Amazing. Wow. Good. Yeah, right? Wow, there's a heat oh. in my mouth. You can find their distillery at the heart of the Tanglin neighborhood. So, you just saw us learn the best way to do gin tasting. We tried out their high-quality gin and the history behind each drink that makes this place so special. This is a great classic experience that you can do in Singapore with your family or friends. Just make sure you're at the right age. Cheers, everyone! Thank you so much for having cool. us. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for coming. Bradley, yeah. nice meeting you. Yeah, fun, you fun, fun. And Mark, of course. <laughs> now that that's done, let's go on to the next. Yep. <laughs> And we are at at the basement of the toy museum. Of the toy museum. Yeah. And it's really a place if you love vinyls because you can find new ones. There are also used ones over here. Yeah. And there are a lot of artists that we saw that we know. Exactly. From mm -hmm. your era and mine. But I don't know. Yeah. And well, mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or told me earlier, they have craft beers here. There's coffee. And it's air conditioned. And did you see? It's so It's amazing. open. Kind air conditioned Shahir inside. Yeah, I wonder how they maintain. And it, it's really cool down it here. It is, it is. And, and you know what? I like what they say there. Uh, the saying there turn off your mind, relax, and flow downstream. That's nice too. That's that nice. is so, so this is the cool. downstream, I suppose. Yeah. Let's look at the vinyls. I think I'll take a picture of that. Go! Later. Quick pit stop, no? In a really artsy place. I know, and then, yeah. you know, it's so cool in spite of it being open. I know, that was. Okay. I'm. I'm. Natutuwa ako dun. Oh, really? Actually. I don't know how they do it, but yeah. it's a cool place because if you like coffee, you like craft beer, and music, you're all here. Yeah, because yeah. there's like vinyls that you can check out, like you saw earlier. And yeah, if you want to just vibe here, this place is a vibe. So yeah. you should make your way down. It's over at the basement of the Mint Museum of Toys. It's hard to miss. We've stumbled upon this beautiful bookstore filled with picture books, and not just for kids, but for adults as well. And this book, Friends, a counting book. This was written by Eckers, but illustrated by Mike, or Moof. <laughs> so I want to read this to you, sort of like a live version of Sleeping Pill with Inca. One shy and lonely boy. Two playful, cheeky girls. I can hear the laughter. Three kids who share a toy. Sharing is caring, kids. Thank you! That's it. Thank you so much for joining me on this three-part series in our journey to Singapore, my first ever trip out of the country. Thank you so much to the Singapore Tourism Board for bringing us around and for helping us see Singapore reimagined. It was so beautiful an experience to see classic Singapore and reimagined Singapore, most especially that I got to do that with my mom. I've made some beautiful memories on this trip, and I'm so excited for you to make your own. As a first-time traveler, I'm glad that Singapore was the first place I visited internationally.
Another tip I'd like to share is to make sure that you wear comfortable clothes and shoes when you go around. Mom and I did a lot of walking with so many things to see here. Ah, what a memorable trip this has been. We visited great food establishments like Two Chefs and Smoke and Mirrors, experienced adventure on the Vespa Tour in Jewel Changi and at iFly Singapore, and also shopped at Design Orchard, Yeni Draws and Friends, and Woods in the Books and so much more. If you're planning to visit Singapore soon, you can replicate our itinerary in this three-part vlog series and let us know what you enjoyed the most. Go on, visit Singapore! <laughs>